What's up guys, here's Twin here, hope you're doing well today, we're gonna build the German TJZ, let's get into it. First thing we're gonna select is the inline 6 block layout with a aluminum block, aluminum head and bore and stroke in this engine is gonna be 84mm bore by 89.6mm stroke, dual overhead cam, 4 valves per cylinder and then plus 15 quality. Now. Blood steel crank, lighted titanium car notch, forged pistons, harmonic dampler for the balancing, plus 15 quality. Now, we're gonna select VVT and VVL because we don't have vanos in this game, plus 15 quality. Turbochargers, we're gonna run two. I know it's not really the stock setup, but besides that. Now, we're gonna run direct injection per cylinder and a race intake manifold configuration. We're gonna run this engine on methanol because I like methanol a little more. It's not as hard on the piston and rod setup, no cat, no first muffler, no second muffler, plus 15 quality. Now we can get into tuning this engine the way we want it. Power goals for this engine is at least 2000 horsepower because I've built a TJ in the past that makes 2500 plus horsepower. I like that engine a lot, so let, let's repeat it here with a German one. Because if you look at how people praise this particular engine, this thing is really awesome in a big power band. You can build those engines for crazy horsepower, no problem. So let's raise the compression to 11 to 1. Then we can balance the engine so it idles a little lower. Then we can go to the fuel system and change the ignition timing plus. We can increase the intake manifold size. Then we can move the exhaust side and then increase our exhaust outlet with size. Hehe, <laughs> size. Mm -hmm. Advanced ignition manifold size increased. Exhaust manifold. Increased or headers in this case for normal exhaust increase that Then we can increase the header size as well. I know I said that like 10 times, but you know It's fine. Let's raise the boost. We need more of that. Yes. Yes Some more some more Then just add a little stiffening on the spring and lifters Go back and raise the boost some more by increasing the intercooler size it makes us more power and gives us more headroom we can increase the exhaust as well, make sure we are turbo and our boost are working perfectly together. Go back to the fuel system, we can increase the manifold size, the intake manifold size that is. Let's go yonder, let's increase the VVL, RPM, so that's where it starts kicking in. And starts carrying power, as I understand it. Well, please do feel free in the comment section to roast me down there for uh, making a... Slight error as they say. But yeah, while you're down there, please do consider to like, share, comment and subscribe because it really does help me out. Bring you this wonderful content. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Now we can start the mine in this wonderful engine. Looks beautiful. Let's paint it. I think it's gonna be a black on black theme. Let's select the valve cover. Valve cover is gonna be a classic 80s valve cover. That looks good. Let's stop painting it. I like to see how it looks, and then we can run this engine, and I'll talk from there. So now, let's move on to our wonderful theme for the day. It's around this engine, so we're gonna do one pull looking at the engine, one pull looking at the craft. Let's go! sounds absolutely beautiful. I like the way it sounds. Thank you very much for watching and have yourself a fantastic day. See you in the next one.